Hey guys, Sarah here from Guardian Cane Corsos, and you'll have to excuse me because I think I caught a cold from visiting the dog show yesterday. But just wanted to let you guys know uh, I heard your feedback. I know you guys are excited about this content, so trying to get it up as quickly as possible. So just excuse my voice. Um, but yeah, we have, uh, we're able to film quite um, a lot of content that I'm so excited to share with you guys. It's going to be at least three to four videos on what our experience was at my second dog show ever uh, that I attended. The first one I attended was with Logan and Phoenix just to go visit and get to know some of our mentors that offered to mentor us that we now uh, work with today. And um, this one we were told to go to to get a lead and just get a feel for things before we start registering Chevy in a show. And so, you know, I'm excited to show you guys A, our first video, which we're going to jump into shortly on what the dog show world is like. Um, if you've never been, it's quite the eye-opening experience. Uh, another video will focus on rally and obedience, and a third video will focus on uh, the Connie Corso showing and what you know we learned uh, to do and watch for in um, the ring from attending this event. So we hope you guys enjoy uh, the content. And if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments because I still have two more videos to edit. So I can definitely answer any of the questions, hopefully, that you guys may have on the show world. Um, so, yeah, excited to learn together with you guys as we start to enter into this world um, and share with you guys as much as we can. This was going to be the first show we were going to show Chevy at, but um, some of my mentors uh, convinced me not to sign her up um, because it's very rare you get a dog show within an hour of you. And so they said that this place is very loud, there's a lot of people, and it would not be a good place for Chevy to start. So. I took their advice but wanted to show you guys uh, the show world and come learn and support um, and get as much as I can. So here we go. Okay, so if you've never been to a dog show before <laughs> and you're a people watcher, you may want to wear sunglasses because it's a whole different world. There's like dogs everywhere, all different breeds. Um, this show was a specialty show for the Cavaliers and the Pugs. So um, very much a specialty for smaller breeds, but they did have all breed uh, confirmation events um, available. The show was four days long um, and it was we went on the Saturday morning and you can see um, it's really designed for early morning people at this show because it starts at I think it was 7 a.m. and by 11 12 o'clock it was cleared out so um, there's Dogs everywhere, crates everywhere. I've never seen uh, so many types of crates. Crates on wheels with grooming stations on tops, soft crates, regular crates, um, and you know, just things you would never normally see even in a pet store. Um, lots and lots of great dog merchants and fascinating uh, dogs getting groomed everywhere. <laughs> so you'll see as we go throughout this video um you know what you'll find at the show world and on top of that in the parking lot alone which i'll show you guys at the end of this video you're gonna see like 
I didn't want to get too in, invasive into people's personal spaces, but people have RVs, um, decked out vans for their dogs. Like it is a lifestyle. Um, people have, you know, fences that they put up attached to their RVs, um, golf carts with their kennel names on them. It, it's a serious lifestyle for those um, who do this regularly. I doubt we'll ever get to that point, but you just never know what the future holds because I never dreamt of being a uh, breeder and here we are. So um, hope you guys enjoy uh, my people watching um, for the first part of this video. Another reason they told me to come to the dog show, if you guys can hear me, is they actually have really good vendors and I should be able to get my show lead here. So I'm excited uh, to get that after I watch the Corsos compete. So I finally found the merchant that was recommended to me to get our show lead at and they were super super helpful and they have so many options to choose from. So this is the lead that we got for Chevy and ironically it turned out to be purple. So this is a precious um, metal um, lead and this is a show choke okay it's actually got some real weight to it and it's uh, not cheap but you know I could have gotten one that's um, you know not a precious metal but I wanted her to train with actual weight um, of the collar that she'll get used to. And so unfortunately, depending on the size that she gets to, I may have to upgrade it. And so they've tied it on here uh, for me. And this is a real leather uh, lead. So <clears throat> it's um, the perfect size where I can hold her and maybe even do a loop to hold her in tight, um, but it's um, real leather, and so the more I use it, the softer it will get. And so this will be uh, Chevy's working collar, and it will only be used for working, and that's what they recommended because if that's um, what you do it, it's almost like, hey, when you put your uniform on, you know exactly uh, what to do. So I'm quite excited that they just picked purple. I feel like it's meant to be. 
and um, you guys will get to see this when I have it on her. And this is the name of the company that uh, you would have seen in our video. And this is where we got it from. You can order from them at line, online, and they are at many of the uh, large uh, dog shows. So they came very highly recommended. So that's how we heard of them. And they're one of the biggest reasons we ended up going to the show in addition to film. Okay, so in this video, I am going to show you guys um, some footage that I filmed of the probably best of a breed um, for the Dobermans because I came in, you know, looking for the Corsos, but they were a bit behind. So here's some footage of an actual Doberman um, confirmation uh, ring event. And you guys will see you know how there there was quite a few dogs in in the running but you'll get to see here um for best i think it was best of winners um really what some of the best people do in the ring and the handlers um so you want to keep an eye on what they're all doing how they stack their dogs everyone has different strategies for how they keep their dogs attention um, so there's lots and lots of things to pay attention to if you're really interested in showing. So I would definitely rewind this part a few times, um, but I will be diving deeper into this in another video as well. But I just wanted to call out before you guys see it that these um, are probably some of the best handlers that you'll see. Um, I think because the Doberman is such a pop, uh, such a popular breed. So definitely, um, you know, stay tuned for this footage and observe what you can. There's a lot of people to look at, so that's why I recommend watching it a few times. Um, but definitely very interesting strategies, um, and you can really see some of the experience levels of some of these handlers.
So that's the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you've never been to a show or if you have been to a show, what is the most interesting uh, thing that you've seen? Um, it's like going to an NASCAR race. It's like people watching gold. So I hope you guys, you know, got a taste of what it may be like, even though you haven't been to one before. Um, or for those who have been, got a reminder of what it's like. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Definitely give us a thumbs up, a comment, and if you haven't subscribed and are interested in the show world, definitely subscribe because we have a lot of good videos coming your way. Thank you guys for watching.